Hey everybody, I'm back this week with another email management tip. So if you manage client inboxes and you find that they that their inboxes are overwhelmed with certain emails, let's just say a newsletter, for example, and your client doesn't want to delete them, and we're going to create a filter to help make sure their inboxes are clean. A filter, if you're wondering, in Gmail at least, is a rule that you create that tells Gmail where to send incoming emails. So we can create a rule that tells Gmail to send newsletters to a specific folder and bypass the primary inbox altogether. What we're gonna do first is come over to the left-hand side and scroll all the way down because we need to create a new label. Go ahead and type in your label here and click create. At that point, we can actually come back to the search bar up at the top and look for this doohickey thing right here. And we're gonna create the rules. So you can get creative. You know your client's inbox best, so you can either um, dictate who it's from. So um, for example, if your client gets newsletters from Dropbox and they don't necessarily want it in their inbox anymore, it can be from Dropbox. It could be a certain subject, um, has the words is really helpful. So if they're specific, um, maybe they're they're into sports or travel. If there are sports related newsletters, for example, you can include some sports related words and um, <laughs> yay, athletics. So um, that's just one example, but I do wanna show you how this works. So I'm going to go ahead and create a filter from YouTube. And all we're going to do is then create the filter. Now we have a choice of what to do with it. Um, you can either skip the inbox altogether, which means the email that comes in the newsletter is just archived. That goes to the all mail. Your client actually won't see it if you just hit archive. Um, you can delete it if that is what your client prefers. Um, but I think if they're still asking you to keep a newsletter, then chances are they do want to read it at some point, which is why we come back to our label. So we're going to apply it to a label and then we're going to choose the folder that you've just created. And that's it. Create the filter. So now that our filter was created, every single email that comes from YouTube is going to be automatically sent to the new folder. So I hope this was a quick and helpful video for you guys. Again, inbox management is this really great and sometimes underutilized skill for virtual assistants. So um, hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you can use this not only for your in own inbox, but for your clients too.